William Sila is a sign language interpreter tonight. I'm Linda Ogutu. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, the Kenyan delegation to the ICC Assembly of State Parties has just announced that all the items they proposed for discussion at the summit have been included in the agenda. Key among those items is the request for a review of the amendments to rules of procedure and evidence introduced at the last assembly. But as KTN senior political reporter Sam Mugina now reports, the Kenyan government goes to the assembly of state parties ready to pull out of the Rome Statute if its petition is rejected. Nairobi is lobbying against the use of Rule 68 that allowed recounted evidence to be used against Deputy President William Ruto and John journalist Joshua Arabsan. Nairobi has dispatched a high-powered political and diplomatic delegation for what it terms as a make or break assembly of state parties summit at the Hague, Kenya's brief, to lobby for the ICC to rescind the admission of Rule 68 in the Ruto and Sun case that allows for the use of recanted evidence. And the country is warning if diplomacy fails, politics shall prevail. Ambassador Amina will not come back. She has carried the instruments for withdrawal. Not only Ambassador Amina, a number of African countries' foreign ministers and attorney generals have carried their instruments for withdrawal. But I can speak for Kenya. Ambassador Amina will take the next flight to New York and present those instruments for withdrawal to the Secretary General of the Security Council, of the UN Security Council. The Uhuru administration feels duped by the ICC court ruling to allow admission of recanted evidence to be used against the deputy president and Joshua Sang. Kenyan delegation claims amendments to Rule 68 allowing the use of recanted evidence was passed at the 13th session with an understanding that Rule 68 will not be applicable retrospectively in the Ruto Sang case that was already going on. It's a global uh, uh, legal principle that no law applies retrospectively. Unfortunately, in this case, it has been forced to apply retrospectively. Again, we had commitment, and uh, you know, commitment from the entire assembly of state parties that that rule was not going to apply in the current cases. Our minimum, a reducible minimum at the ICC is that we will not allow, we will reverse the usage of Rule 68. It has never been applied in any jurisdiction, any court, anywhere in the world. Kenya's technical team comprising of Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed, Kenya's Permanent Ambassador to the UN Kamau Masharia, and a team from the Attorney General's Office held a strategic meeting at The Hague ahead of the Assembly of State Parties opening Wednesday. Kenya's moment of truth comes on Monday when it spearheads the fair trial process in the Rome Statute system. Other crucial sessions to be hosted by Kenya includes cooperation with the ICC and operationalization of the independent oversight mechanism in the Rome Statute. We had a clear understanding in 2013 uh, that the amendments would apply to any cases that had commenced before uh, the date of the amendments. But the Kenyan push has triggered a sharp reaction from the Amnesty International, which says Kenya's request on recanted evidence goes beyond the mandate of the Assembly of State Parties. Amnesty International warns that the summit should not interfere with the independence of the judiciary nor undermine the ability of the ICC court and its prosecutor to pursue justice. The Kenyan parliament has also a petition for the establishment of an independent bench to probe the ICC prosecution's investigations, witness and evidence collection. A petition by Pokot South Member of Parliament David Kosin. And Kenya says it will be counting on its friendly nations to pass its motion. We will then be saying that, you know, this is an opportunity for us to know who our friends are. We are fighting an injustice being committed to Kenyans and the ICC. If you are a true friend of Kenya, you should be able to stand with us. Already, Kenya has warned the UK it will not renew the British Army Training Unit Kenya, but took agreement if the UK vetoes its petition. But in a statement, the British High Commission in Kenya says, quote, 
The two issues are not interlinked, that in fact the ICC is an independent judicial process. Kenyan Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs Amina Mohamed and UK Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond signed a statement of understanding on the Defense Cooperation Agreement in New York in September following a positive meeting between President Uhuru Kenyatta and Prime Minister David Cameron. End of quote. Samogina KTN News.